anymore. The label, one thing, one thing I know that the label has done. I, I can't say that they've done everything because we pre pre pretty much feel like we've done everything. I'm going to just say that. I'll say that to the label. I'll say that to Sylvia. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but um, um, the label has put us on, like, you know, major tours. Like, they put us on a major tour. Which it's like it's tour like, support. Um, it's like your Xbox. It's like a turbo button. Like how you press the uh, that button on the back of your Xbox controller to make everything go faster. Like, it's a, it's a boost for a lot of stuff. Instead of you having to go through certain circumstances to get to certain places, you can just... Be like, oh, that's my big brother. And they go like, boop, you there. No talking. So certain stuff like that is cool. And growing and growing up, not even to just defend this statement that I agree with, like growing up without any type of money or any type of people just telling you you don't have a shot at it, you're going to challenge that, you know? And that was the opportunity that we had. Like, yo, let's go to the major and get that push where it's needed financially because no star in this world didn't do it without talent and a bit of luck and the luck is usually i mean the world finances we yeah, separate yeah. ourselves from the industry we definitely do that and the industry we i mean of course you got to be a part of the industry you got to be a part of the industry but at the same time like you got to be a real person like you got to be a real person like cook classics will talk to us about a tickety pay at the same time he will talk about okay yeah we were in miami beats. when we were in miami with pharrell man we started talking about random shit like parties and like he started freestyling we was freestyling on my macbook for, uh, just about nothing we're talking about you know we're talking about everything from we can't to yeah talking about everything with him aside from music he was talking about he for real man he dropped mad game he's talking about sometimes when i get stuck creating man i just bl i play the sound of water in the studio we're just like man that's crazy yeah. like you get in the slum you just play water yo forever when i see that guy in person again like we're we're gonna we're gonna meet again of course we're gonna we're gonna be buddies but i'm gonna call him teacher he told me that he told us that he called q-tip teacher every time he sees q-tip he be like, yo, teacher, da 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 da. I'ma call Pharrell teacher every time I see him. That's we was real. with him for four days. Yeah, yeah, nah, he dropped game, man. You gotta, when the, for the producer, you gotta vibe with them personally. With anybody you work with, vibe with them personally first. Don't just do it like, you know, hey, this is a check, but vibe with that person. That's how music was made back in the day. CB Wonder didn't get no email from like, uh, you know, this keyboard player, like, hey, man, you know, here, here's what it is. Just dropped it in the Pro Tools. Man, he saw that nigga making it.